starting with his 1939 as quarter dollar in mint state 68. This is the ultimate registry coin for the 1939 S Washington Quarter being the sole finest at PCGS and CAC. NGC reports two additional coins in this grade, but neither is CAC endorsed. Satiny unblemished mint luster complements boldly rendered devices. Much of each side is brilliant, although the deep crescents of crimson, gold and amber olive toning appear along the lower obverse and upper reverse borders. I appeal is outstanding. Sold on May 3rd, 2023 for $30,000 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1922 No D Lincoln Sand in MS63 brown condition, highly elusive strong reverse dye pair 2 variety. No sense were struck at the Philadelphia Mint dated 1922, the only such omission of the small cent denomination. Sense were coined in Denver that year. Collectors were thus mystified when occasional cents were encountered in commerce bearing the 1922 date but without the letter D below the date. Eventually, numismatists determined that three die pairs of 1922 D cents lack the D, die pair 1 and 3 have a weak reverse and sometimes show portions of the D. However, die pair 2 has a strong reverse and never shows a remnant or ghost of a mint mark. This die pair 2 carries a lofty premium relative to a die pairs 1 and 3 and is key to Lincoln's and series. This specimen was sold for $15,000 on May 3, 2023 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1937 deal 3 legged buffalo nickel in MS65 condition. The 1937D 5 cent 3 leg nickel is a unique and rare error coin that was created when the die used to strike the coin was polished or clean, resulting in the removal of one leg of the buffalo on the reverse side of the coin. This error became known as three legged buffalo and was only produced at the Denver Mint. This is one of few gems available of this conditionally elusive variety. The mint luster is satiny and unusually bright, each side displays subtle shadings of pale golden and lilac. And, as one would expect from a gem, there are no noticeable abrasions. It was sold for $27,600, the same auction day. This is 1916D Mercury Dime in MS63 condition with full bands, the low mintage series key. The Denver Mint struck. 264,000 mercury times during the first year of production for Adolf A. Weinman's new design. That's the only recorded mercury dime mintage below 1 million coins, although the two overdate varieties may also have lower mintage. The 1916D is a key to the series in all grades from low-level circulated coins to gem and finer mint state examples. This crisply detailed select mint state piece has sharp central bands on the reverse. Both sides exhibit frosty silver luster and dappled gold toning. Sold on May 3rd, 2023 for $28,800 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1955 Lincoln Cent in MS64 red condition, famous double diverse variety. Unlike the other varieties that remained undiscovered for years or even decades after their production, the discovery of this famous variety in Northeast United States within a year of its release into circulation ensured that exceptional examples survive today. This sharply detailed choice mint state piece has highly lustrous fiery orange surfaces and minimal spots or marks. Sold on May 3, 2023 for $17,400 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1950 Franklin Half Dollar in PR65 deep cameo condition. The Franklin half dollar was introduced as a circulating coin in 1948, but proofs were not made for collectors until 1950. The 1950 proof is the scarcest proof in the series overall and it's notable rare as a deep cameo. PCGS reports only 9 coins in the deep cameo category, just one of which is finer than the piece shown here. This gem, deep cameo, is fully struck and nearly brilliant, with a few faint wisps of light golden color. Watery fields glimmer around the softly frosted central devices, and neither side exhibits mentionable marks. Sold for $31,200 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching, guys. Your likes, comments, and subscriptions are highly appreciated. Have a